Hey everyone, so I just want to go ahead and give you some interesting facts about the heat wave that we just had for about two weeks long and they've been calling it the great heat wave of 2012 mainly because it's the most intense heat wave obviously of this year so far and it actually rivals a lot of heat and a combination of like heat and drought conditions that the Dust Bowl summer in the 30s had. Um, so it's kind of like rivaled that in the 30s, obviously, because the um, it was so dry and so hot, we had the Dust Bowl era, and a lot of places from this past heat wave that dealt with the Dust Bowl back in the 30s have kind of experienced the same drought conditions and the temperature conditions combined during the same time um, this year. So it's it's very interesting about how um, how like the how we can relate pretty much back to the Dust Bowl. Um, with this heat wave that just went on. And it started at the end of June and it built up in the Southern Plains first and like the Eastern Rockies and then it spread over into the Midwest and then all the way over into the East, Southeast, Mid-Atlantic and some parts of the Northeast. Not every place, not everyone in the Northeast experienced the like full effect of the heat wave, um, but most places did. And then the Southeast, uh, temperatures in the Southeast are usually running between like upper 80s to low 90s for average highs and most places saw like mid 90s during the heat wave so it wasn't that intense so the most intense places that saw um the heat wave were definitely the the, the plain areas like dallas oklahoma city uh and then all, obviously like st louis like uh obviously chicago Minneapolis, Indianapolis, Detroit, all those places in the Midwest and Ohio River Valley, and then obviously in the Mid-Atlantic, D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York, uh, and even Boston saw like the worst of the heat wave. And it lasted about two weeks, which is a very long stretch for a heat wave. Heat waves usually only last like four to five days on average. Uh, we did have a heat wave before this past one for maybe two, three days in like the almost the same places, but it wasn't as tense, obviously, and it didn't prolong it um, as, as long as well. So this one obviously beat that one by a long shot. But I just want to give you a couple of interesting facts. Uh, a lot of places rivaled their all-time record highs. I know for a fact that as of yesterday, when I checked this online, um, there was 170 cities or locations that either tied or broke their all-time record high temperature. 170 locations just out of the heat wave. So that is pretty darn impressive. Um, like St. Louis, I think St. Louis did. I think Chicago, I don't think Chicago did. I don't know if Minneapolis did. I don't think they were the big, big cities, but I know like smaller cities and like the town and some towns and stuff definitely broke their all time record high. And here in DC, the all time record high is 106. And we got up to, I think 104 uh, on the last day of the heat wave or like the second to last day, so it was pretty darn hot, but we didn't. But here in DC, we didn't break it, and I don't think we broke it in Baltimore either. And I think we were only one degree shy of the all-time record high in Philadelphia. So again, very very intense. One of the good things about the heat wave was that it wasn't very humid outside, so it wasn't that like sweltering hot. It just the air temperature when you went outside. If you just stood out there, it was like whoa. It was like a sauna. It just wasn't, it didn't feel any like humid um, outside, or at least for me. I mean, here in DC, I just didn't feel that like it was very humid outside. It just felt like exactly 100, you know, and two degrees if it got up to 102 or, or 97, you know, if it got up to 97. It felt like the actual temperature, not something more than that. You may have experienced um, something else, obviously. If it was more humid in your area, you obviously felt like. Oh, it's like uh, 200 degrees out here. Woo -hoo! You know, I needed some water. Um, so that's pretty much like the extent of like the heat wave and stuff. Um, so again, 170 all-time record highs were either tied or broken. And in itself, just for the heat wave, over 4,500 record highs were broken. 4,500 records, people. That is a ton of records. That's 4,500 records. I can't even, like, oh, That's, like, so many, and it's in, like, a two-week period. Not even a two-week period. It was, like, I think it lasted for, like, 12 days, the heat wave. I think the official report is, like, oh, it lasted for 12 days or something. I'm not really sure. I've got to check up on that. But that's a lot of record highs, and obviously 
if you <laughs> if you experience the heat wave, you know what I'm talking about. So a lot of places saw over 100 degrees easily. Chicago saw four consecutive days of 100 degrees, which breaks the all-time record for consecutive days seeing over uh, like 100 degrees or more. They had four days of 100 degrees or more. St. Louis, I think, had nine, which I don't think beats the record. I think the record is 11 or 12 consecutive days over 100. But that's still pretty impressive. Um, and I know for a fact that other cities, like Indianapolis, of uh, a lot of places in Michigan saw extreme heat as well. They saw well over 100 degrees. I think some place in Michigan saw like 104 or something. That's pretty darn impressive because it's up near the Canadian border. Um, and then obviously around here in the mid-Atlantic, we definitely saw our share of a 100 degree plus weather here in D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia. I don't know if it officially got up to 100 degrees in New York. I think it got up to 98 one day, but I don't think it got up to 100. I don't know if I'm wrong, let me know, but I'm pretty sure the official reports that I saw did not say that New York City had 100 degrees during the sea wave, but I may be wrong. I don't know. There are so many cities on a list. There's a list online that just said like how many like cities there were and like their highest temperature and stuff, and I was going down the list, and I saw New York, and I'm pretty sure New York was not on the list. Uh, or, or it was on the list, obviously, but it just didn't say 100. I think it said 98, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, a ton of cities saw over 100 degrees very easily, not only for one day, but for more than one day, two, three, again, four days in Chicago and nine days in St. Louis. So that's pretty darn impressive. And then to make matters even worse, unfortunately, with this heat wave came no rain, and a lot of the country is already kind of in like a, a abnormally to moderate, like, drought, so to say. The drought monitor just came in this morning, and I saw that 61% of the country is in moderate drought. That's not good. <laughs> um, and then I think it's like 32% is in the, is in severe drought, and then 12% is in extreme drought. So that's not good at all. And um, I look back into the Dust Bowl areas, and they didn't really have like a monitor, so to say, but um, there were like reports saying that that the area that was affected by the Dust Bowl was pretty much in like severe to extreme drought. So the drought that we're in right now is not as bad, obviously, as in the Dust Bowl era, but it's pretty bad, especially when you have like hot temperatures and then you have like water shortages and stuff, and it's not good for crops. Like corn, corn's gonna like go up like a billion dollars now because you use corn for everything, in everything, and they're not harvesting like any corn now because, uh, we've had no rain and when you have no rain you kind of can't grow crops so that's kind of like a big issue um and then like soybeans is another issue i've heard and just like a lot of agricultural places a lot of farmers um just because of no rain and with the extreme heat with the heat wave that we've been getting it's just worse in places for drought and it's just getting bad unfortunately so that's not good hopefully we can get some rain in here i know i shouldn't say this but we should just get like a hurricane, not like a hurricane, but we just need like tropical moisture over like the two eastern thirds of the country for like two days to like wipe out, not wipe out, but put a dent in the drought, sort of say. So I'm praying that we get some rain because I want to eat corn later this summer and I don't want to pay like a gajillion dollars. They already said a barrel of corn is went up to like $7, which is more than half the normal for a barrel of corn. So... Yee, that's, that's not good. So that obviously means that's going to be more money out of your pocket when going to the grocery store later in the summer. So, ooh, that's not good. But again, so just wanted to do a quick overview on the heat wave that went on. Again, it lasted for about two weeks, uh, end of June, early into July. And again, the combination of the heat and the worsening drought just did not make it any better. And unfortunately, we did have quite a few deaths. Um... Officially, I know there was at least 30 deaths blamed. I I don't know if that went up since the last time I checked, but uh, the last time I did check, there was officially like 30 dead from just the heat wave itself. So heat is very deadly, so please take caution when you're outside. If you're outside and it is hot, just make sure you either don't stay outside as long, restrain yourself from physical activities, go out between, like, um, well, not, betwe not between, don't go out between, like, say, 11 and 4, that's when the most intense heat occurs. 
either go early in the morning or later in the evening if you want to jog or do an outdoor activity and then obviously go to the pool and cool off during the middle of the day that's what a lot of people do or the beach obviously um and just make sure you put on sunscreen you wear like hats sunglasses uh wear light clothing because lighter clothing reflect the sunlight and darker clothing absorbs it and you just want to play it safe obviously bring a lot of liquids water gatorade powerade uh, again, no carbonation, so raw stick. You, I, I, I know I'm gonna watch this video, so I'm just saying to myself, do not drink soda, raw stick, because I most likely am gonna do that, and that's bad. So, um, maybe one soda, maybe one soda is fine, but other than that, don't. Um, especially when it's that intense out outside. So just remember those precautionary tips, and. Yeah, that's pretty much it for what I wanted to say about the heat wave. Uh, the outlook for like the next couple weeks, right now we're just kind of comfortable, not as intense. It's still pretty warm. It's upper 80s, low 90s here in D.C. And the long-term outlook looks for next week to be in the mid to upper 90s again. So it looks like the heat's coming back. I don't think it's going to be as bad or long or last as long as last time. But again, it is summer, people, so... When it's summertime, you expect the, obviously, the hot conditions. But hopefully there's some thunderstorms or just some rain showers that pop up in the afternoons to just cool everything down. All right, so I'll be back in a couple days or a week or so to give you another video. And until next time, remember to play it safe, keep, keep cool outside, and remember to always keep your eye to the sky. Oh my